My horse recently colicked with an impaction in her small intestine. Mm. Okay. For several days before the colic, she was sensitive in grooming on her upper left loin. Is it possible for an impaction to build up over a period of time? This is something I can relate to very personally oh, okay. because I, anytime my horse or myself have something bad happen, I start thinking about like, could I have seen this coming? You know, oh. and you try to like read into all of the things that happened yeah. in the in the days leading up to it. So yeah. I understand where she's at. <laughs> It, it, if you use common sense, it makes sense because an impaction is a buildup of feedstuffs, ingesta, in an area where the tubing, the lumen of the intestine gets smaller. Tubing, and very technical tubing. term. So it, t it does take a while for food to sort of back up and plug up the system. I mean, you think of your drain, you, know, you when you clog your drain, it doesn't happen overnight. So I can totally buy that maybe her horse was giving her some signals, but I mean, there's, they're so vague mm -hmm. that there's no way you would know what was going on. Mm -hmm. So um, she said that her, the impaction was in the ilium. So that small intestine. Small intestine. Yeah. Um, you can have it, uh, impactions in the small intestine, and, and in particular that section of small intestine. They're also common in the um, large intestine, so where the left colon takes a turn and not only a turn, but it gets from it goes from fairly large to a really small diameter. There's a drastic change, and things begin to plug up there. Kind of like when you have a lane merge like on the highway. Oh, yeah, like in that tunnel yeah. in Boston. Yeah. So there's a couple of places in the large intestine that happens. Cecum ileocecal junction is one of them, and, and where the cecum goes to the um, right dorsal colon, uh, that happens. So you have to watch for those. But how can you prevent those? And I don't know that her question talked about preventing. It does not. But I'm going to talk about it anyway. I think that's, I think that's um, great. Hydration is one thing. So if you have feed stuff that is dry, it's going to be more prone to pack up and harden. Mm -hmm. And that's why we brought the smart salt mm. pellets buckets here. Salt will stimulate your horse to, to drink. It will increase their thirst or feel for thirst, and then they'll drink, and then hopefully hydrate from within, mm -hmm. and then not have feed stuffs get so hard and dry. Um, now you pointed out smart salt pellets, yes. and I have definitely had. Um, I'm, I've been in the horse industry for a while. <laughs> I'm not going to say how many years. Yeah, not going to say how many years. <laughs> Uh, but I've had a lot of people and, and even friends to this day who I grew up riding with who say, well, my horse has a salt lick, isn't that good enough? And in particular, they're talking about those big red pressed form oh, the red ones. salt licks. I know, your favorite. You're making me break out in <laughs> <laughs> Is it hot in here? <laughs> uh, so that is a question. So I think a lot of people say like, oh, my horse has a salt lick. That's going to encourage him. He knows how much salt he needs. These are a lot of things I've heard around mm. salt. So feeding a product like smart salt pellets, I think a lot of people feel like, really? That it's not necessary? Do you mean, yeah. Oh, au contraire. I know. Um, the nice thing about these or any salt product is that you can top dress it on the feed and you know exactly how much the horse is getting. With a salt lick, A, they don't, a lot of horses don't like it. It mm -hmm. wasn't made for horses. It was made for the rough tongues of cattle, which feel great, like when they lick you, but horses don't have tongues like that, so they don't lick the salt block. If you've never been licked by a cow, if you've been licked by a cat, it. you know what we're Only talking bigger. about. Yeah. Um, the other thing is the red. I don't care for the red because if you're thinking that you're providing your horse with micro minerals or trace minerals with that, you're not. You're mostly providing the color, some iron, which they don't need, um, but you still have the problem with they're just not getting enough salt. So mm -hmm. top dress it and then you're, you're sure. Okay. Alrighty. So we covered that and I do feel like I'm talking about a lot of things that have already, that are already in existence, but she was asking about could this have been like a warning sign of colic and you have a really great blog and video, I think, on warning signs of colic. All and the different signs yeah. like calling yes. and not eating. And yeah. yeah, so yeah. you can find that on our YouTube channel and also on our blog. Yeah.